Hey, what's up everybody? Faye here and welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be going through episode 17 of Minecraft Java with uh, the Hunt Frog Cat variant. So in the last episode, I kind of just kept working on that build right there. As you can see right there, that is the villager breeder. And in the last episode, we built up the wall to how it is now. As we can see, we got a floor and all that. And in this episode, I think what I'm going to do is try to at least finish the rest of the walls and maybe even begin on the roof. So, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens with that, though. Um, hmm. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, though, I need to start collecting uh, good old acacia wood. I hope this music isn't too loud. There usually isn't music off rip when I play this game. So this is new. Hmm. Collect some acacia wood and then go to sleep for the in game night. I'm late to the recording of this video. Usually I start recording this these videos at like 8 o'clock in the daytime. Well, 8 o'clock, like 8 p.m. or some shit. But I'm about an hour late to starting the recording and shit. That's just because I was in the middle of something when 8 o'clock hit. I say I was busy with something, acting like I wasn't just playing Minecraft on my other world. Whatever. Um, let's get up here to... Let's finish off this front, uh, this front wall first. Bam. Bam, 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 and then do this as well, bam, bam. I think I'm going to do the exact same build for the front wall as I did for the back. Hmm, hmm. There we go. Man. Oh, fuck. And then let's do this. And then I want to do that with the rest of that, this spot over here. Let me actually pull out this sapling. Alright. Oh, fuck. Yeah. This isn't going to be enough for what I still need to do, but hopefully this will be enough logs for at least one side of uh, the build. For at least one side of the wall to be finished. At least with this like log trim at the top. Alright, fuck me. Okay. Alright. Uh, I guess this is a good time to set up a staircase, I guess. We'll put it on the sides. Like that. We'll do it just like this. I'm not gonna... As I was saying, I'm not going to add the, uh, the staircase in yet. For... Well, mainly just because I want to probably do it out of cobblestone. And I don't have the cobblestone to do that yet. Like, I don't have much cobblestone right now. So for now, I'm just going to chill on that. So the case just happens back in my inventory. Now anyways, let's get back to trying to add the acacia wood to the build without falling off the side in the process. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so I'm two off of finishing the side. Let's actually sleep for the end game night now that I've put that in, finally. Let's throw some shit in my chest beforehand. And then... Bam, bam. Alright, yeah. Get off my bed. Can't wait to get this villager moved. The village, the village just keeps going in and out of my house. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Heard someone walk out of their room. Every time I hear someone come out of their room, I automatically assume that they're about to come into my room. Just because people love doing that. Most of the people in this house don't really give enough of a shit about me to give me actual privacy, especially during recordings. 
Hell, I'm pretty sure I, my sister even walked in during a recording one time and just straight up yelled at me, being like, I don't care what you're doing right now. You should have went and opened the door whenever I was knocking on it. And it's like, bitch, I didn't even hear the door knocking. So you can, like, shut up right now. It's like when you got headphones blasting whatever it was. I forgot what video it was that she walked in on. It might have been a... I think it was one of the reaction videos I did. I don't know. I think it was one of the CoffeeZilla reaction videos I did. That she just straight up walked in on without a care in the world for what I was doing. Of course, I'm one short. Alright. Um, well, she walked in on the recording and basically yelled at me for not getting the door open. Despite the fact I didn't even know the door was... Like I, for one, I thought the door was unlocked. For two, I didn't even know she was gone. So, like, how was I supposed to make sure the door was getting opened whenever I didn't even know she was gone? I didn't even know the door was locked. I probably should start assuming that the door is locked, but at the same time, like, come on now. Like, she has a house key, too. So, if she was just smart enough to bring her house key with her wherever she went, she wouldn't have to deal with something like that again. She wouldn't have to deal with waiting on someone to open the door for her. She could have just unlocked it with a key. And just been done like that. But instead she had to cause a scene. And interrupt me on one of my videos in the process. Which was just kind of fun, I guess. Of course I'm being sarcastic when I say that. Okay. Well, now that the wall's all finished, I have an idea for the roof, but I'm going to need a lot more acacia, and I'm going to need quite a bit more cobblestone. In fact, I'm going to need some something I can use for fuel. Probably just use oak wood for now. I need to take cobble deep slate. One, two, three, four. I'm going to throw three of these in here. Okay. I don't know if these will actually work for what I need them to, but I guess we can try it. I want to try to see if I can craft a stone cutter with one of these. Can I craft a stone cutter with reg with deep slate instead of stone, like smooth stone type shit? Because I don't have the cobblestone to make. Wait a minute! I just realized I have two smooth stone already. Are you joking right now? Alright, well I guess here's the ch here's the test, I guess. I need an iron for it. Pull out an ingot. Wrong thing. Um, this will be the test. You know what's funny? Pretty sure I tried that out on a different world. So I should have I should have known that that wasn't going to work. But whatever. Let's throw the cobblestone in. I only need to smelt one cobblestone since I already have two smooth stone. And I know this type of stone will work, so... There, then I'll just use whatever's left from this to smelt whatever iron I can smelt. Throw that back in there, and then... Let's craft this stone cutter. I just realized I, don't e I didn't even need to do that, because there's a stone cutter literally in this house. Right over here, where the cats are. So I literally didn't even need to waste any of that stuff. You know what? I guess it's fine. Hmm. I just wish I was smart enough to realize that in advance. Okay, well, for now, though, we don't need cobblestone right now. The bit that I want to start off with, I'm only going to need a case of four. The, the cobblestone bit is kind of just for, like, the trim on the sides type shit. So, you'll know what I mean when I finish it. But for now, it's just gonna kinda sound like I'm not saying much. Am I hearing people screeching in my house or am I just hearing shit? Mm. 
Maybe I'm just hearing shit. I hope I'm just hearing shit. Because if there really is screaming in this house, I really hope that nobody brings it into here. No, because I, I might go off if that ends up being the case. I'll have to mute my mic on the recording, but... Yeah. Whatever gets in the raw recording staying in the video as well. There have been multiple times where someone's walked in on a recording and I just kept it in. Mainly because I'm just not, I just don't know how to edit any videos for shit. So I just leave it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I see you've uh, grown accustomed to my stone cutter. Interesting. Okay, now what I want to do is turn all these logs into planks and then turn all these planks into stairs. Yep, I hear screaming. Okay. This better just. It's better not carry into here or anything. Otherwise, I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna just make an iron axe just because I have way more iron right now than I do cobblestone. And I need cobblestone for this build, so I'm just gonna use an iron axe for now. It's actually the first iron axe I've had to craft in this world. Hell, on my other world that I've been playing, iron tools were the regular tool for quite a while, quite a while actually. I think I just recently switched to diamond when I started getting like toolsmiths and weapon shit, weaponsmiths and shit that could sell me like, uh, that could sell me like enchanted diamond stuff. And with some of the stuff, like some of it was ass, so I ended up just like buying it anyways and then just like disenchanting it so I could have like a clean like clean diamond stuff so it would look like I just crafted it in, in reality all I did was just buy it off a villager and then disenchant it and I get a bit of extra XP out of it so hey it's not a bad thing at all you know what I mean I just realized I do need a little bit more acacia for the sides yeah bam and bam We're gonna do four on this side, and just so we can get this side started, we're gonna do four on this side. And bam, there we go. Yeah. I did say I was gonna need a fuck ton of acacia wood for this, and I guess I'm not wrong. Let me check how long I've been recording for. Okay, so almost halfway through recording time. I want to get acacia to cover this up as well. Like you see where the uh, the acacia log outline is. I want to put acacia planks right there as well, to signify that that's going to be like the ceiling of the of the build. So then you just you don't just like go up the stairs to the second floor. Then you just see like underneath the stairs. But I want to do this. Uh, I want to do the stair roof first. Just to get it out of the way. Because it's going to be the harder bit anyways. Might as well get it over with. I need more acacia wood. And this iron axe should help get it more. It's got better durability and it uh... So it'll last longer and it'll be more efficient with cutting trees down. Iron tools aren't bad. Especially in the beginning. On my, uh, like on my other world that I've been working on, just like my, my Minecraft world that I play on in my free time, when I'm not like at school or too exhausted to do anything or taking care of chores or whatever, like I'm playing that Minecraft world in my free time, or if I'm not playing a different game, like when I'm not on Minecraft and I have free time to play a game and I actually feel like playing a game. I'm usually playing Pokemon Violet on my Switch. 
and I am ready for a Pokemon Scarlet Let's Play on this channel. However, I want to be able to complete one or both of my current Pokemon Let's Plays on this channel before I start a new one. Um, I don't know which one I'd want to finish. First, like, it'll probably be the uh, Isle of Armor series I finish first, just because of how heavy I'm going into that series right now. Because I am going pretty heavy on it right now. However, uh, yeah. Once I finish this Minecraft series that you guys are seeing, though, I'm gonna, I might do a Minecraft survival let's play at some point in the future, but for now, what I'll do, just for now, is I'll, uh, just, um, Like, once I finish this series, I'll probably just switch over to... I'll probably just switch over to the Let's Go Pikachu series. And then once that series is finished, then I'll switch over to... Uh, maybe I'll start a new Let's Play after that like for Minecraft, but... Yeah, Minecraft, once this series is on, was, is finished, uh, Minecraft is going on hold. Unless, unless something happens like, uh, like you guys give me enough support on these videos, and you guys actually want to, uh, see, uh, my progress on my private world that I play on in my free time, like the one I was talking about earlier, like that one. That one in particular. Like, if you guys want to see, like, what I've been doing over there. Once I finish this series. Then, like, I can just do a world where I give you guys a tour of that. Do a video where I give you guys a tour of that world. Probably make a copy of the world first. Just so I don't end up, uh, messing anything up in the real world on that game. On that save file. There, there. Cool. And then I'll turn the rest of these into planks, and then I'll turn uh, the, the rest of these planks into stairs. Mm -hmm. So there we go. There's the sides done. Let's actually sleep for the night. Oh man, I need to fix the way I'm sitting again. Uh, there might be one more in game night that I sleep for before I, uh, before I end the video. I'm hoping to maybe get... I don't think I'm going to finish off this building time for the video to end. However, I think I'm going to get most of it done. Like, I already got most of it done already. But I'm going to have to go on a cobblestone mine to get more cobblestone. And on top of that, I got to... Like, even before I do that, I'm still, like, going on acacia runs to get enough stairs for this, for this uh, ceiling. Well, this roof. And then once that's done, I still got to get even more acacia to cover up this bit. To actually have a ceiling in here. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck me. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but... I gotta... Usually, my, my uh, YouTube account... Because I watch YouTube shorts when I'm at school just to pass the time sometimes and so because of that I get recommended to a lot of certain content and so due to that I end up getting a lot of like rem recommended shit pop up while I'm doing something on my computer and that notification was so loud and unexpected that it just scared the shit out of me if you guys didn't hear that then that it's basically just a notification to a YouTube video that popped up from the channel it's funny too because that guy that I got recommended to just now I don't even watch the guy I think I watched a couple of his YouTube shorts because he does a lot of Pokemon Go videos so I watched a couple I watched a couple of his and then now like every time I open up YouTube on this cha on this uh, account he's always on my homepage for no reason and it's like I would appreciate it if he didn't but you know, it's whatever. 
I guess it's just YouTube's algorithm. I mean, if he did, like... I don't know if he does, like, videos on Pokemon Go where it's, like... It's, like, the type of videos that'll help you do, cer like, accomplish certain things on it. Or if he just does the kinds of videos that, like... You watch it and he does something cool on Pokemon Go that you could probably do on your own as well. Like, I think one video of his that I watched was... Um, he reacted to people, like, finding crazy-ass Pokemon, and it actually turned out to just be Zoroa. Like, there was this guy that put in a submission where someone found, like, they found a shiny Tapu Koko, and it turned out to just be a Zoroa. Like, damn, first off, if that was me, I would be depressed. If I'm being honest. Now if the Zoro was shiny. If it turned out the Zoro was shiny. I would have been fine with it. Because it's like okay I didn't get a shiny legendary. But at least I got a shiny. Out of this situation. Shiny Zoro arc is pretty cool. At least I've seen shiny Zoro. Uh, I haven't seen shiny Zoro arc. I don't think I have anyways. Okay. Hmm. So like. If shiny Zoro arc has a. At least a similar color pattern to Shiny Zoroa. And Shiny Zoroa is a pretty nice shiny. At least from what I've seen. So, once I get one, it'll be nice. Uh, let's check out this uh, Wandering Trader. Okay, you guys can get on my face. Oh, wow. This guy is useless. I mean, I could use him for Glowstone. While I don't have a Nether Portal. I mean, I could just craft a diamond pick if I don't know. Do I have a diamond pick? Yes, I do. I think it took up all my diamonds to get it, but yeah, I have a diamond pick. Okay. Um, I'm just going to turn all my acacia wood into plank. And then let's turn all these hoes into stairs. There we go. There. Oh yeah, I have an idea for something else I want to do with the roof as well. However, I'm going to need more cobblestone for it. So that's depressing. Okay, I'll tell you guys what I have a plan to do. Like that new plan that I just figured out about. I'll tell you guys about it once I uh, get this row that I'm on right now done. And there okay so you see this these two rows right here these top two rows i want to do in cobblestone slabs however i don't have enough cobblestone for it so when i go on a cobblestone run i'll go in for enough to get enough stairs and slabs to finish the cobblestone bit of what i want to do for this What do regular stairs look like? Like in regular houses? Like I haven't seen a regular house in so long. I don't know. I guess I'll just do cobblestone stairs for this house as well. Or acacia. Like once I finish the exterior and shit. I'll just like see how much. Like if I have enough cobblestone to actually be able to add stairs and have some cobblestone extra. Then I'll do that. But if I don't then I'll just do acacia stairs no problem. I think cobblestone might look better for this build, but it's a villager breeder, so it, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. There. And there. Bam, bam. I'm pretty close to finishing off the, uh, the stair portion of this uh, roof. Bam. Okay, the last row. We're a bit short. Let's actually count how many I need. Just four. Okay, that's actually just fine. That's just fine. I'll, I just need to chop down one more tree. And then I need exactly four stairs, which is good. That's exactly how much I need to craft. And then I'll put whatever acacia wood I don't use to uh, put into making that ceiling good for the second floor. 
Why do I feel like there's always an alarm that's about to go off in this house? Like sometimes when the, when it's quiet in this house, I just get this vibe that there's going to be like a fire alarm that goes off for no reason or something. I don't know why. I just get that kind of vibe. For no reason sometimes. I get so confused when that happens as well. It's like sometimes I it might be anxiety talking. Like that that might be just anxiety talking or something because like that that doesn't just happen when I'm at home. That happens like anywhere. It's weird too cuz like I got so anxious when I was at school from fire alarms. Like I got my anxiety rose so much from that shit that like now when I am at school, I will dead ass like, like I noticed that when usually, at least in like, maybe not high school, but when I was in like junior high and shit, when they would have fire drills and shit, like right before the fire alarm would go off, there would be this like clicking sound you would hear. You'd hear this weird clicking sound. And then like, maybe like a good 5-10 seconds is at most after you hear that, you would hear the fire alarm going off. So, yeah. Yeah, I need to, oh fuck off. I need to get that sorted out. Whatever problems I have that makes me feel in that kind of way. I need to get it sorted out. For sure. No oh, man. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's add these final stairs to this spot. Bam and bam. Okay. Let me actually check how long we've been recording for. Okay. Um so actually instead of going down for cobblestone in this episode I want to do that in the next episode just because of how much time we have left in this video I want to actually uh, get some glass melted up to be able to put into the village breeder and shit okay so bam put that in the chest what could I smelt I guess some more of this oak planks one two three four five six seven eight Bam, and I'll put that there. Cool. Now I guess I could go ahead and turn all these acacia logs into planks to try to fill in that ceiling bit, but uh, I don't have stairs to go up, up and down those stairs, so not really too worried about that shit. I'm gonna go grab a little bit more sand, like just in case I need more. Just in case I need more glass. So I don't think 16 glass panes are going to be enough. Is this 6? Yes it is. Cool. Well since I have time. I might as well tell you guys like one more like weird mini story. That happened today. Basically what happened was. I was. Uh, like school had just gotten out for me. And. Um. And, like, we were going to be in the band hall. Like, me, my sister, and her boyfriend. We were going to the band hall for... Like, they wanted to practice for indoor drum line. And then I didn't have anything to practice. So I was just kind of stuck to have to sit in there and do basically fuck all the whole time. So, like... Like, we walked in for that shit. Turns out none of the band directors were in there, so we got kicked out by the color guard coach. So uh, after that, uh, we all walked through the doors outside, and then when we were outside, we got greeted with um, a little bit of mild hostility. Okay, I need a little bit more glass. Come here. Thank 
Thank you. Okay, this can go back in my inventory though. Yeah, I'm just gonna need a little bit more glass for this. Bam, and then bam. There. And then, um, back to the story. Um, as we walk out, and we see this one girl. She's a color guard member. I'm not gonna say what her name is for obvious reasons. But we just hear her like screaming at someone. And we don't know if she was just constantly screaming at the person because she was just trying to get something off her chest. And it was talking about someone else and not her. Or if she was like genuinely pissed off at the person she was yelling at. And she was like screaming at him. Or whatever. Because color guard girls are pretty dramatic. They are pretty much drama queens. And, uh, yeah, a lot of beef happens between the color guard girls on a regular basis. So, like, I wouldn't have been surprised if it if we did find out that those two girls were beefing. And that girl was just screaming at her. But like, phew. either way, it was kind of crazy to see. Like, bro, she just wouldn't stop screaming at her. And so, eventually, like, adults that got there, because our percussion band director got there, like, while we were witnessing that shit. And, like, he was kind of in shock of what was going on as well. And then I think the, the main theater teacher or something, like, one of the theater teachers also saw what was going on. So both of them walked up to, like, see what was going on. And they were basically just making sure nothing bad was happening. And so, like, once that happened, like, she ended up walking off to go do whatever she was going to do. It looks like she was headed towards the field house. So, like, she went to the field house or whatever, and then never really got to see her again. Me and my sister and her boyfriend just headed into the band, into the band hall with the percussion band director, and we just, like, moved on. But hold on, I think it's time to end off the video. Let me check OBS real quick. Yeah, I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. So if you like what you saw, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you want to check out my other socials, you can go to the About section of the channel or to the description of this video and all my other videos. Uh, if you guys liked the stories I was telling you guys, uh, put it down in the comments below. Uh, and with that all being said, my name is Fate. This has been episode 17 of uh, the Hunt for All Cat variants on the Minecraft Java series. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.